Once upon a time, in 1830s, the story about a Christmas Carol, and I wrote the Christmas Carol, written by Charles Dickens, you know, my wife's Carol. On the show called Hysteria, various plots will be Ebenezer Scrooge. And finally, in the future, to cut costs, employees must bring their own toilet paper. Good morning. My name is Jacob Marley, and I'm here to meet you, Ebenezer Scrooge. The time has come for you to be afraid. My, am I afraid? Why am I afraid of you? Jacob Marley, I thought you were dead anyway. I was if I was. Today, you will be haunted by free spirits. Get it? Free spirits. The free spirits of fear! Oh, that sounds riveting. I believe it was true. I know it's true. It's quite simple. You will get free chances for your spirit, or you will be doomed to the destruction. Hello? Hi, Plotsy. What do you want? I want you! Thanks to... The Guillotine! It's obvious! The Christmas will come to life! Boom! She's a seamstress from Valencia! Please welcome Senor Toast! Yes, the Guillotine! It dices, it slices, and it's named after me! The ghost of Christmas past in all the folks that you for us to clap it's I am here at last cause Mr. CEO It's movie time relax and see as we climb up your family tree and look at how you used to be many years ago With the guillotine you'll feel nothing but a slight sense of refreshing coolness on the neck It's like a mint So chop 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 your way to liberty, truth, revolution and Julian fries Here's a part-time levitator from Seville, who's back for round two. Say hello to Senor Toast! What's this? The day you were born. That's you as an itty-bitty baby. Such a good boy. Mama. I kept his medical benefits going. That was nice, wasn't it? Who? Huh? When Scrooge's plot continues, another ghost came to a visit to meet Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge in the present. Because the present will be the future. Why didn't you say so, man? Here. And get a grip! Probably another fruitcake. Who are you calling a fruitcake? I'm the ghost of Christmas present. It's a pun. Get it? But even stranger than those is the coincidence between President Abraham Lincoln and the scientist Charles Darwin, who promoted the concept that man evolved from apes. It looks like the love for this present. Because of everyone like Ebenezer Scrooge, we decide to make it into the present. Because I made the discovery when I make you discipline the present and your heart shall be a life in conclusion inside the house of wealthy God and your life for Ebenezer Scrooge! And now you! Come on! Lucky for you, they can't see us. We couldn't afford the turkey this year's What That Your Father Got Fired. You look more like a type A to me. My grandfather was a type A. Boy, was he a stress case. Like one time, sing. He drank a double mocha espresso just to relax. This was called... Big mistake! We have winter storm warnings in effect for the Urals and all of Western Russia. Moscow will have temperatures below zero from now till next May. So wear your mittens. The present is finally completed, but the future of the ghost came to a visit with this vision eyes of the ghostly scary business, hunger, desire, this was called... Total Bummer. I gotta get out of here before that third ghost shows up. Oh no! I am the ghost of the Grim Reaper. There's only one thing that my name must be. What's up, dudes and dudettes? Hello, I'll be a 
a ghost of Christmas future this evening. Look no further, dude. You found me. I got a letter for you right here. Check it out, bro. Ed McMahon says you may already be a winner. <laughs> Stickers! Awesome! All right. Now, you see, I want to get my wheels retrofitted for the 1902 Extreme Games. I need this puppy to be lightweight enough to perform aerials and lips before returning to the ramp in vert or between ramps in Durden Street. No! And tell that Urkel guy he's too old to wear his pants that high. It's embarrassing. What's that man doing in my chair? Oh, this isn't your office anymore. It's his. Don't you recognize him? So Ebenezer Scrooge, cruelty, ruthless, coward, was out of cruelty places thanks to beautiful, kind, and gentle relaxation. <gasps> Not so fast, little lady. You haven't met the rest of our contestants yet. I don't have to. I love his music and that wonderful Irish accent. Welcome to America! <laughs> no, it can't be. No, 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 no. <laughs> Well, folks, Ebenezer Scrooge, cool man, outraged man, is no longer saying humbug thanks to the free spirits of the ghost. And he is back to normal when love is found. Looks like he is back from the dead. It's like Dickens once said, God bless us, everyone. We... Than advertised. I still have time. Go and buy the biggest fruitcake you can find and deliver it to Ralph's house. Here's some money. And keep the change. No, no hurry. Well, thanks for joining us on Hysteria. Hysteria! Hysteria! <laughs> Hysteria! Hysteria! That means hysteria! Seventh President of the United States. Among his accomplishments were, uh, well, let's see, uh, hmm, uh, let's see, he had to do something important, didn't he? Uh, he was the president, after all. There you go. Uh -huh. thank you, big fat baby. <clears throat> after getting stuck in the White House bathtub, Taft had one installed that was big enough for four people. What? Is that the best you people could do? According to this, the dude didn't really do much. He liked to golf, take naps, and eat. And his wife and family just about forced him to run for president. <laughs> you mean... Yeah, we're talking about Taft. Okay, then. Hit it! <laughs> I 
I'm tired and I'm hungry. Who's the presidential one that almost weighs a quarter ton? Six foot two over 330 pounds. Who is the dude with the golf and nap time attitude? Taft! Can you put it? Who's the prayers that just picks out when there's good food all about? Taft! Chow on. They say this cat Taft is a bad muncher. Shut your pie hole! Just talking about Taft. Well, he can pick out. He's a lazy, laid-back man that really didn't want to be in the White House. William Howard Taft! Taft was the first president to use cars instead of horses. And the first president to throw out the first pitch in a baseball game. That's worth something, isn't it? <laughs> Does anybody have a canned ham? Can we do a little more research before we start these things? Sheesh! What a grouch! Have a beautiful time.